Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Seamaster Katas 2016 ITTF World Pro Grand Finals. Welcome to Doha. It's men's singles quarter final. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from China the number three seed, world ranked number three, Zhu Jin. your officials, the umpire from Qatar, Hamel Mohammed, Aziz al Arini, and the assistant umpire from Austria, Werner Koller. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Zuzhin versus Yuko Manamatsu. It is men's singles, quarterfinals. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Seamaster Qatar 2016 ITTF World Tour Grand Finals. Coming to you live from Doha, I'm Adam Bavro, and with me, Paul Hand. How you doing, Paul? Good, thanks. Looking forward to this, the uh, penultimate of the men's singles quarterfinals. Before we get into the semifinals action later. Yeah, this should be exciting. Head coach of the Japanese men's team, Yosuke Kurashima, in the corner for Yuka Muramatsu, the defensive player with short pips on his backhand and ripping shots on both sides. And Xin Shijian, Mawong's personal coach here for the men of China, will be coaching Xu Xin, the cloud walker, world ranked number three, third seed, 26 years old, his sixth time in the World Tour Grand Finals. He's not a stranger to this tournament. Took the Olympic team gold this year world team champion this year in Malaysia, won the Korean Open in 2016 as well, and in 2015, the doubles specialist, took men's doubles and mixed doubles, many titles, and one of the greatest things about Xu Xin is knowing that you're going to get so many highlight shots, he can run down anything, and he's endlessly creative. One of the most creative players I've seen in years and years on the Chinese national team, Ma Lin definitely up there, Xu Xin not afraid to try behind the back shots. Around the net rollers, arguably the greatest point in modern history in the Chinese Super League last year. Xu Xin playing the modern pen hold game using both sides of the racket. Unlike Yu Sung Min, who was in the corner for Jung Young Shik so far in his big victories in the tournament. So Xu Xin has almost an impeccable record against choppers. Can't recall the last time he's lost to a chopper. So difficult for foreigners to beat. Although in the last year of his life has lost to more foreigners than he has in the rest of his career. Jun Mizutani beating him in the team's competition at the Olympic Games. And Zhuang Jiyuan at the Olympic Qualification Tournament in Hong Kong in April of this year. To get here, Xu Xin played Chen Chen An of Chinese Taipei, who beat his teammate Zhang Jika on many occasions. Actually has a winning record against Zhang Jika. But for Xu Xin, no problem. Four straight games. Yuto Muramatsu on the other side. Played Vladimir Samsonov, the legend, been at the top of the game in Europe, was former world number one and still in the top ten, but Muramatsu with the biggest win of his career, winning four games to three in a thrilling battle that really called on his forehand attack and attacks on both sides. You'll see the fast feet of the tall stature Japanese player, and it's all relative, but both of these players are taller than the majority of players on their team, Paul. Yeah, absolutely unusual, really, isn't it? But it, it leads to great viewing because they're both very strong, wiry, and some breaking forehands from Zuzin. I love the way he, Shushin, rather, he, I love the way he bananas around the outside of the ball and that forehand in particular. But it should make for some real fireworks, this one. And the defense of this man, the modern defense, we should say, he can snap back at any time with the attack. So it should be a really good watch. 
Now, we talked about the specifics of the equipment just a little bit, relatively specific anyway. Short pips on the back end. Earlier, I mentioned in the broadcast, Yuka Ishigaki uh, accidentally mentioned long pips, but she is using short pips, although some describe them as medium by measurement. This means that short pips on the back end, we're going to see more aggressive play from Yuko Muramatsu. A little bit more spin variation as well. The quality of the loop that's coming in, though, Shushin's forehand is vicious. Arguably the biggest stroke in the game and the hardest forehand to return. Look at this. Doesn't take long. I always think it takes a little while, Adam, as well, for... Uh, Muramatsu to settle against Shushin, that left-handed sort of way the ball deviates and bends in. It takes a righty a little bit of time to pull the pace. Fewer lefties. Now, one interesting thing, not only being left-handed, but also the penhold grip gives more flexibility to the wrist. So a little bit more versatility and unpredictability from Shushin. You'll watch him hit inside-out balls, hooking around the outside. Better closer to the table as well, they say. That's right, over the table, the pen hold grip, the racket's naturally hanging down. You're not fighting gravity as much. Part of the reason pen holders can be so successful in doubles as Shushin has shown us. Not wasting much time winning the points here. Not too many players can do that. You describe tactics against a defender, normally patience is a virtue. Shushin pretty unique here, class of his own. Yeah, he sort of, <laughs> he can just take the ball tall, can't he? And I love watching him play when he goes on these runs of points. He just then becomes even more expansive and creative in what he does. And it's just a, a sight to behold. Wow, crossover point still almost bends the ball back onto the table. But you said it, when Shushin gets a lead, he pulls out the play in the play in the most playful sense. All sorts of creativity. I think we're gonna see more attempts like that from Muramatsu to try to get in early in the point, to play the forehand attack. Shushin just too, comfort, uh, too comfortable against the defensive play. Second time these two have met as well. Last time was at the Korean Nine. Open back in 2012. One love win for uh, Xu Jin then. Four loving games in the round of 32 on that occasion. So Muramatsu is struggling to settle here. Nerves playing a part, you would imagine. Haunted perhaps by that previous uh, you're gonna not see a pleasant mercy? experience. Right, a yes. mercy point maybe. I maybe. know what you're going to say. There's the mercy point. Let's see if Muramatsu <laughs> gives it right back to him, as many say you should. Does not plays it. We've seen a bit of both. The other day, Zhuang Yuan gave it right back. There has been some tradition. Fang Zhendong in the 2013 final for the German Open against Dmitry Ostrov. Dima gave it right back. I think he just wants to salvage his pride. Pride, Muramatsu here. Let's get something on the scoreboard. Service ball. Didn't well, seem to be intentional. You never know. But either way, a dominant game one game. for Shushin, the favorite on paper. We'll see what happens in game two. Modern defense versus modern pen holder right after this. for game two, the Cloud Walker with the serve. This is an interesting start after winning 11 to two, giving up a mercy point in game one. A little bit of spin variation. This is other than aggression, a little bit more control of the spin with the short pips. So we will see more spin variation from Muramatsu than some other choppers. Forehand flip, 
looking to get that third ball, get aggressive early in the point is going to force you Sheen to be a little bit more on guard, not too comfortable. Can you imagine Muromatsu just has to get points on the score, but any which way he can here, just so he can a little bit more expressive and free swinging and find his way into this. This is good. Well, that serve right there, every once in a while a pendulum serve, someone will lean in and over and pull up after the point of contact to give the illusion that there's topspin on the ball. But really, they've contacted the bottom half, and Muramatsu got an outright point with that serve. No, oh, thunderous. Shu Jian. As heavy as that chop is, it seems no problem. Again, if you know what's on the ball, man. Giant backswing. Do you see that? Huge backswing from Shu Jian. Look at this. Just. This is what he has. He's got the longest stroke I've seen in the game. Really, the arm's full extension. Tries to play the middle of the table from the middle. Least margin for error, and it goes long. It was interesting reading some interviews with Xu Xin about his feeling, you know, when you play for China, you are playing for China. You're playing for the honor of your country. It's the second time that understand service fooled him. Now, he underperformed a little bit, losing to Jun Mizutani in the team's event at the Olympic Games. That being said, he was recently married November 30th, got his paperwork, hasn't had his celebration yet, but his longtime girlfriend quickly became fiance and wife. Still seems to be quite focused on his career. And of the big four, is the second youngest. He's younger than Ma Long and Zhang Jike. So we do imagine some future for the physically fit, very fast and creative Xu Xin. Nice sense of calm when he plays as well. He just sort of lofted that one up high with oodles of spin, side and top. Xu Xin's one of the, I guess he's the only player of the big four that you see smiling in the middle of big tournaments between Eagle. points. He just has a very calm way about him. And while off the court, Muramatsu's much the same, very calm and cool. He's a fighter when he's playing. Even just his style of attack, lunging forward, it's intimidating. Thanks. Almost every rally that Shu Shin has started with the attack, he's won the point. Muramatsu in near the table. The aggressive game the service is what it comes down to. He's just got such a heavy strike, Xu Xin. It's just dictating and dismantling the chopper. His service game, too. There's so much variety. It's really tough for Muramatsu to get in on the receive. It's nice. Has the opportunity there, but at the back edge of the table, catches the top edge of the racket. Not being allowed an in, has he? Muramatsu. Five in a row for Shushin. Oh my god, piece of cake, a walk in the park. He reads it so well and just knows exactly how much to lift to keep it on the table. Seven in a row for Xu Xin from down 4-6. And look at this, 11-6 quickly turns it around. We'll be back for game three. Muramatsu's going to have to slow it down in some way or another. Game three after this.
for game three. Yuto Muramatsu down 0-2 with the serve. Kyushin on the receive. Too much power right away early in the points. Again, most players, you need patience, but the confidence on the read and the power of Shushin finishes the points. Second service error, the first one was to end the game in game one. Well, you mentioned that they had faced off before. It was 2012 in the Korea Open, and Shushin won four games to zero. Since we've seen Shushin miss in the attack against the chop. Look at that crisp, absolutely really red line, but this flat hit here. Swinging over the back line. And in the point before, the timing was good. He had a soft, spinny one before. This is a good strategy. Still the offensive shot, but bring in the chopper. Get, if they hit it from down near the ground, they're more likely to pop it up too high, and then you can come through and crush it. Loaded serve. That one deviated all over. Terrible. The heavy underspin pendulum serves several times. That lean over has been effective against Shushin. It's so important for Muramatsu to establish himself, take advantage of having the serve, because once they get into the rallies, the percentages go way down. Too good, the angle out wide. He's keeping Muramatsu away from the table. And this is the trick with the power that Shushin has. Muramatsu needs that extra time. And the more he backs up, the more ground he has to cover side to side. Defender just getting rushed off the table in every which way. It's a, a little belittling at times, but I thought he was starting to ignite at the start of his third game with a run of points, but uh, then denied and pegged back. So timeout called from his corner. Now it's interesting, Coach Kurashima has seen one of his players beat Shushin. Again at the Olympics, Jun Mizutani managed to pull off the victory. But the skill sets between Muramatsu and Jun Mizutani are quite different. We talked a little bit uh, yesterday or the day before about Jusei Hyuk and how the whole modern game requires so much attack. I'm really curious to see how much attacking we get out of Muramatsu from here on out. And also the ability to float a chop. With the short pips, he can float it back a little bit easier than, say, a long pips player. Maybe getting Shushin to question himself, to get a little overconfident and lifting the ball up and out. Easier said than done. So far, look at that face. It says it all. This is a guy who's thinking about his next meal. You mean in terms of which player he's going to gobble up next? Nice. <laughs> I like it. The food metaphor for table tennis players. <laughs> oh, he's got just the metronomic dependability with that forehand loop. It looks so like it's never going to miss. Look at it. And with all that muscle and hustle coming out of Muramatsu, <laughs> finally he has to go back to the backhand, and the next shot hung out to dry on the forehand side. He's just not been allowed into this match at all. He's been stifled and just smothered like a thick togged duvet. Body blow there from Shujin. He's trying. I mean, you can see that he's looking for solutions, trying to play out of his comfort zone, think outside the box. I think it's really difficult for him because of Xu Jin's weight of shot. He's having to back right off the table, and that renders him relatively ineffective. Beautiful. One 
trust is just completely in control. And that said with respect. Fight. So one game point saved. Sushin just has so much feeling too that he can put the ball anywhere on the table. through it it sits up just a little bit and that's enough for so Shushin to just ACC rip it past the winner to 11 to 5 a 3 to 0 lead for Shushin get ready for the Shushin show it starts in about 55 seconds For game four, Shushin very much in control here. Has not allowed Muramatsu more than six points in a single game. No. There's almost a belittling nonchalance about the way that Shushin's going about his business now. And this poor fellow is on the receiving of what seems to be a little bit of a hiding. He's trying everything out here to just keep Shushin pegged back, but thankless times right now. Stop. Definitely trying, but when he's that far from the table, not only does it make his shot more predictable because he has less of an angle to choose from, there's just that much more time for Shushin to watch and it becomes his choice. He can block if he wants, he can counter loop. What a recovery. That was crazy. It looked like the ball almost bounced twice on Shushin's half. Gets the net ball back for a net winner. And this is a match from the third quarter of the men's singles draw. And down below, of course, is uh, the winner of this one. We'll play the winner of Dimitri Ovchurov, the sole European representative. He's up against Van Zhendong. Second seed. In the third seed, of course. So they'll be going toe to toe, possibly, should he wriggle past Dima. If, of course, Yujin comes through this. I don't mean to do a disservice to Muramatsu, but it does look increasingly that way. I don't think too many viewers at home who've watched the match so far are on the other side of the thought process right now. No guarantees, of course, but it would be quite the upset if Muramatsu could come back. Fight. This is why we call Game 4 the Shushin Show. I've seen him many times be up 3-0 and then drop a game just sort of messing around, having his fun. I wonder if we'll get to see him lob here. In the Chinese national team, we don't see anyone lob more than Shushin in the modern game. just is another lesson, a demonstration in just how comfortable he is against defenders, frankly. Wow. Blistering pace. If you really think about how long the ladder is, the food chain in table tennis, Yuto Muramatsu just beat Vladimir Samsonov and Shushin like it's no problem, can do whatever he wants out here. He's ambling around Fight. during points, Shushin. Very comfortable. If anybody wants a picture with Shushin, now's the time to get it one. Somewhere in the middle of the point. Finally, one of those shots misses. Fight. The percentages are so much in his favor. These are shots that 
most players take and a coach says, no, 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 calm down. He's a defender. He gets the ball back. That's what he does. Play patiently. Shushin has had such an overwhelming percentage with that shot. I don't really know how much the coach has to say when he goes back to the corner in this match. Keep it up. Yeah, more of the same. Right, cool. That's right. <laughs> Remember what you did last game? One more, please. And even with a strong receive like that, the next ball equals six match points for Xu Xin. He's looking for an exhibition. Nope, not gonna happen. Blasted into the body and a quick game. Xu Xin just walks right through his steam rolls. And Muramatsu, after the best win of his life, faces defeat. And it's a long ladder and a big step to the next rung. We'll see what happens. But Xu Xin moves on to the men's singles semifinals. And coming up right after this, Germany's Dmitry Ogdorov and China's Fan Zhendong. Stay tuned.